if you have a goal or a dream or something you're trying to do, I think it's important to question your level of desire. How bad do you want this thing? And it's important because it makes you self-aware and so you don't beat yourself up if there's this thing that you're, that you're trying to accomplish but you don't really want it that bad so you're not putting in the necessary work to get it. And I think that's normal and it's part of being human because there's a certain level of desire that we can achieve that will let us do anything, anything. This level of desire is the, is the ultimate level. There was a philosopher, his name was Socrates. And one day, one of his pupils approached him. And he looked at Socrates and he said, Socrates, how can I acquire knowledge? And Socrates looked at the pupil and said, well, all you have to do is want to gain knowledge and you shall have it. And the pupil looked at Socrates and says, well, surely I want knowledge, so I shall have it. And so Socrates led the pupil to the ocean. And then, you know, they walked in to the water a few feet in and suddenly Socrates took the pupil's head and put it into the water. And he held it there for quite some time as the pupil struggled. And then he started to panic, you know, because he was suffocating. And here Socrates is, you know, he just has his head in the water. And so he finally he lifts his head up and he gasps for air. <gasps> and Socrates looks at the student and says, what were you thinking about just now? And he said, the only thing I can think about is how badly I wanted to breathe. I just want air. I just wanted air. I could think of nothing else in the world, Socrates. And Socrates looked at the student and said, that's how badly you have to want knowledge to gain knowledge. That's desire, right? So if you want something the same way that the pupil was, you know, struggling for air, breathing. I mean, that's big. That's big. I don't think most people <laughs> have goals that they want, you know, th that level of desire is the ultimate level. So there are different levels of desire. And again, being self-aware of that is important. You know, you know, it, and, and we desire lots of things, right? It could be a Friday night and you might, you know, desire a pizza. You know, are you willing to spend the money on the pizza? You know, it's like different levels, different levels. So if you have goals in your life and you have things you're trying to do and you have dreams you're trying to accomplish, it's important to, again, be aware of your level of desire for each thing. There's a really easy test that you can do to test your level of desire. You first have to realize that whatever you're trying to do requires action, immediate action. And if you find yourself unable to take action over and over and over, that's something to examine. It doesn't mean that you lack desire. It could just mean that you don't have the right focus, you don't have the right mindset, but it's a warning sign. Because if you really want something, right, you're, you're, you're thinking about it all the time, you're doing it all the time, you're working on it all the time, and again, there's different levels of desire, right? You might say, well, oh, I'm not doing enough, uh, you know, math, or I'm not doing enough of this. No, no, it's okay, right? There's different levels different levels. And your desire grows over time. It changes, it morphs, you know. Uh, when I started, you know, college, you know, I started 
as a computer science major. And my desire was for computer science. But then as I discovered mathematics, that shifted. And so my desire to learn math grew and, and computer science got kind of slowly, it slowly faded away. So your desire grows for things. It morphs, which is normal. It's part of being human. Or you could just want it bad enough, just like breathing, just like the story of Socrates and the pupil. That is the ultimate level of desire. What do you think? Do you have any advice for people watching this video? If you do, leave a comment in the comment section below. People read the comments, and so when you leave comments, it does help other people. Also, I do have courses. They're on Udemy, which is a reputable place for courses, but if you get them, please use my links from the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. The key takeaway from this video should be that there are different levels of desire and it's okay not to want some things as badly as you feel you should, you know. It's okay. There's different levels. Ideally though, you find something, something out there in life that you really, really want. Something that is huge and you go after it. That's the best way to be. Good luck.